Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Adobe Moto. This is how I got my 2015 Yamaha R1M for free. Check it out. Alright guys, first of all, if you're new to the channel, I want to thank you guys for watching real quick. And uh, if you can, if you do like this video, go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification button, throw me a like, and throw me a comment. Now, onto the video. So, as some of you guys know, this was my very first motorcycle loan ever. I got a really good rate on it. I got 2.99%, which is really good for a used motorcycle. Yes, I bought this used. I only bought a new motorcycle one time. I suggest you guys buy used motorcycles if you can because you lose a lot of money buying new. I bought this uh, second hand from my first owner. It was an old Asian guy and I got a really good deal on it. And I'm gonna break down the prices right now and explain to you guys how I got this for practically nothing. So, 14,000 was the purchase price plus taxes and fees. So I put down $2,800 and then that made the total that I was borrowing from the bank. $13,100 so I bought it in December and now it is July and what I paid off so far was $1,700 that makes the total amount that I paid so far about $4,500 so when I low sided obviously if I'm talking about how I got the bike for free they totaled the bike so the bike had about $15,000 in damages and then the bike was worth about $18,000 after taxes and all that and then plus my $3,000 in accessories coverage so all in all the total payoff amount for this bike was $20,300 so you guys following so far so I paid $4,500 out of my pocket and insurance is going to pay me $20,300 alright so if you're still following along I still owe the bank $11,400 and the payoff was $20,300. That means they pay off my $11,400 and the difference would be $8,900. Alright, so when insurance sold out a motorcycle, they ask you if you want to keep the motorcycle. And in my instance, I expressed interest in keeping the motorcycle from the very beginning. So my insurance adjuster already knew that from the beginning that I want to keep it because the damages weren't that much. That's where this thing called a buyback comes in. Now a buyback is basically what a salvage yard can get the motorcycle sold for in the current condition that it's in. So I was actually pretty worried because the condition of the motorcycle was not as bad as I thought. And I thought it was going to be in the eight, nine thousands, which at eighty nine hundred bucks, I'd be breaking even. So at that point, I'd have to decide. And honestly, like even if like I didn't get any money out of the out of the deal, and they just paid off my loan, I probably still would have kept it. Here's the thing: the buyback on this motorcycle was forty six hundred dollars. So eighty nine hundred minus forty six hundred bucks. That means I got the difference of $4,300. So if you're following from the beginning, I told you guys, I said I paid $4,500 out of pocket, okay? That's not including all the parts I put on. I'm not gonna count any of that. Okay, so $4,500 out of pocket to pay for the motorcycle so far up to this point. Insurance gave me a $4,300 check. That means total I've spent on the motorcycle so far is 200 bucks. Now I know some of you guys are gonna say, yeah, but you had insurance premiums to pay. I only paid about, what, six months of premiums. And on top of it, I would've paid that anyway, so I don't really count that towards what I bought the motorcycle for. So that's how I got the motorcycle for 200 bucks, man. An R1M, 2015 R1M, 200 bucks. So I absolutely suggest that you guys get insurance, man. Full coverage insurance. And you know, if, if it's worth a lot of money, the motorcycle itself, you can choose what deductibles you want, you know, to bring down the premium. So the last thing I want to mention is 
when you do get your title, most likely the DMV is going to send you a letter and they're going to tell you that the title is no good, that you have to get the motorcycle inspected and you'll get a rebuilt title. But that's pretty easy. Um, I've known of people, I've never done it before, but um, if I do it, which I absolutely will, I think I'll take you guys through that process too. I heard it's just putting mirrors on, making sure all the blinkers work, and uh, just making sure there's no fluid leaking. That's it. So hopefully it's as easy as that. Um, I haven't heard anything bad about it. That's how I got my 2015 Yamaha R1M for free. Something I always say, you only get one life. Stay humble. Namaste. Peace.